energy depression is a bitch that won't stop texting me hi guys so here we are extra close when i just woke up and my face is a mess because of my menstrual cycle and my inability to stop picking at my face literally friday I, I film on Saturdays. Friday, I decided it would be a great idea to do extractions on my face and ended up getting mold, like mountains, mountains all over my face. So, ta da! <laughs> So what we're doing today is trying out a bunch of new things. We got new things from Shop Masse, we have new things from Amazon, we have new tools, new everything to try out. So this is I have no idea how this is going to end. That's why I didn't even do my hair for this. I just stuck it in a bun. I'm like, Lord knows. I might have to take all of this off. I don't know. Let's see how this is going to go. <laughs> I'm going to start off with a primer that I know and love because that's what you need to do when you're going to be trying new things. <laughs> the Wet n Wild Impossible Primer. This literally is almost gone. That's how much I've used it. It's making false fart noises at me. That's wonderful. But I like to press it in right around my T-zone. And then it's so moisturizing that you can spread it out. I love this. I freaking love this primer so much. I might buy it in bulk just in case they try to pull some shit and take it off the shelf. Because we know they like to do that to the good stuff. Alright, now we're going to try two totally new things to me. First off is from Paladio. Paladio. I think you can find them on Amazon, but I, not Amazon. This is where I found it was Amazon. I think you can find them in Ulta, but I've only had a couple of their things. So I found this foundation. It's their powder finish foundation. It's oil free, botanicals, and vitamin infused. I want to try it out. And I also want to try out this She Glam this is their foundation brush. It's got a little nipple hole in it. <laughs> so I want to try it. I'm hoping that I got a good color in the foundation. I'm going to just put it right there in that nipple and then just go with it. All right, let's see how this goes. The color looks good. It says it has a powder finish, so we shall see. I'm probably going to need more. I am not a brush girl when it comes to foundations. I can be turned, but I'm very picky. I think if people are used to brushes, they'll like this. But I don't really like it, to be honest. It's very smudgy, and you can see the marks in it. I mean, it's not too bad. I think that if you're used to using brushes, you'll like this because you'll know what to do. But I'm going in with my sponge. <laughs> Just to even things out a little bit. I would say that this foundation is a medium to full. You can probably build it. I'm going to try here in a second. Because I have a lot to cover. Alright, let's go in with a second coat here and see what we get with a blender. Yeah, that's much better. And sometimes it's just certain foundations that go better with a sponge over a, fo a foundation brush as well. So maybe this is just one of those. I like it. I mean, everything peeps through it, but it does give a nice kind of correctiveness to the skin. So I'm not mad at the foundation just yet. This is, I think it's a preference thing because it's not, it's not horrible, but it's also just like, not for me, not for me. I'm going to keep using this to see how I like it. I think foundations take a little bit to get to know, get to know if you like them or not. So far, I do not, I don't mind how I look. So, for concealer, oh, this should be fun. This, I have been told so many bad things about these, but these are the AOA Top Secret Concealers. I think thoughts they are for more like correcting color correcting which they can be they do have color correcting shades but they're not just for that so i got porcelain fair ivory and light ivory so i want to try to like pick a color that's best that's light ivory this is fair ivory fair ivory seems yellow which is weird um porcelain which is just way too white 
I'll go with light ivory, I think. Now with these, because they're potted, I really do think that they're going to need to be warmed up. Like you got to warm them up either with the brush or your finger. I'm going to go in with the E113 from AOA and I'm going to start kind of swirling it around and just warming that product up on both sides. Somebody said that this ruined their makeup and they had to take it off. <sighs> okay, so it's nice and warmed up. Let's try it. Now I'm just going to place it with this brush, but I'm going to use the Beauty Blender. Please don't screw up my makeup, okay? I mean, I know I haven't gotten far, but come on, man. Now I also want to put it on my problem areas. I really want to see how good it is for coverage like that down the nose because not a lot want to stick on my nose after 35 and then down here I might even try to spot conceal a couple areas and see how we do all right let's go in and see what we got doesn't do much for spot concealing but that's with a sponge of course I don't mind it for this middle area. Oh, let's try it under the eye. I I don't mind it to be honest. I really don't. I do not feel like it's completely full coverage or any of that. I mean, obviously it covers. Spot conceals all right. It looks better in the camera than it does in the mirror. It's a little hard to blend out. Definitely need to use a blender with it. Maybe even go one area by one area. Kind of like what people are having to do with the Jaclyn Hill. Um, I, my brain just fell out. With <laughs> the concealers as well from Jaclyn Hill. We will see how this wears throughout the day. But so far, I'm I'm not completely mad at it. Not, I, I, I don't feel like I have to take my makeup off yet. Now for powder, I got something so freaking cool, okay? This is so cool. <laughs> I'm so excited about it. It looks like the blush from ZC, but it's their Palace Identity Powder. I have been eyeing this for so long. <gasps> let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Oh, it's stuck to my hand. <laughs> it's still, it's still stuck to me. Got, got... So it came with a little puff, and I'm going to use that little puff to start setting down the areas of my face, like my expression lines, <laughs> and where I put that concealer, so I know that it is set. Hopefully this has no flashback, because that's what I was worried about. This is a $35 powder. It's so freaking beautiful. I wish that it did have some kind of distinction versus the blush. Because it does not. But look how fucking pretty that is. Uh. So I used a doe color, their powder brush from that set I've got. And I did want to tell you guys that these brushes do shed. As you can see. Because they are natural hair. It's a little annoying, but the more I like this powder, by the way, it's like soft I love it um it does leave a little bit of a white mess at first because of the print that they have on it with the deer its legs kind of fall off and clump around but after that it's fine <laughs> but it's a great powder um these do shed but the more you wash them the less of that happens that happens to Wayne Goss brushes as well so it's just it just happens now I also got the ZC brush kit I got this one, I got this one, look at the handles, I got this one, I don't know if there was two or three in the big set, I'm only seeing two, I thought that there was, oh yep, there is three, there's this one too, and then there's just brushes, like the little eye brushes, oh, so soft, these are so 
soft. I mean, this is what luxury is. I should have probably used this brush with this powder because it's like they were made for one another. And this power, this powder gives you a, a beautiful sheen. Oh my God. I didn't even notice that. I am addicted. I'm freaking addicted to ZC Cosmetics. It's going to be a problem. My husband's going to kill me. Now I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Brow Precise. Just do my, my eyebrows, which is always fun. Now I'm going to go in with the NYX Control Freak. I, these are so dark already from that brow pencil that I don't want to go in with anything that has any kind of pigment to it. Sometimes I tend to do some pretty bold brows. Believe me, it's an accident. But most of the time I just go with it. <laughs> so for eyes, I wanted to keep it a little bit simple just because I just did. I wanted to use three palettes that I don't use that much. And they're little tiny palettes. I don't get to use all of my little palettes that much. So I thought that we would use them together. I'm going to go ahead and go into this LA Colors one, and this is Heat, and I believe I got this from Big Lots. You can probably find it at the Dollar Tree and other places like that. I'll look and see if I can find it on Amazon for you guys. And I'm going to go into that shade there, and I'm just going to start setting down everything to get ready to figure out what we're going to do with these eyes. I do have something really cool that we're going to be playing with that is going to make it or break it when it comes to these eyes. <laughs> now I'm going to start and I'm going to go into the ZC palette. This is their pumpkin spice palette. It's so cute. It's got a little mouse and a pumpkin carriage. So adorable. But I'm going to go into, I believe this orange right here. And I'm going to go in with my ZC, my new blender. It's, I love the shape of these. They're so cool. And I'm just going to start building up that crease. Of course, it's going to be warm toned. We, we already know this about me. <laughs> Don't expect anything else. Okay. I can't even explain the feeling of these brushes. I don't think I've ever had brushes that are this luxurious. I'm going to look in to see what kind of hair it is in these. If anybody knows, leave us a comment. But this hair that they use for these brushes, it feels like mink. It better not be real mink. ZC never disappoints. <laughs> never. And then I'm going to go in with another blender, one I've already used, but it kind of has the same color. And I'm going to go into this darker brown down here, which still has an orange tone to it. And I'm just going to deepen up the crease a little bit. All right, before we do anything else, I'm going to go in with this, which might seem a little weird, but I'm also going to go into the She Glam, the Mystic Contour. And I'm going to go into the bright side because I don't feel like this has enough coverage. And what I'm going to do is I'm stamping that. And I'm going to stamp it right onto my under eye. And I know it's going to cause some crepiness, but it'll also help me with any fallout if there is any. And being able to sweep that away. That is a perfect little stamper for that too. I am not mad at that. All right, let's keep going. I'm going to take that same brush and go into the LA Color Heat Palette in that orange shade. And I'm putting that bad boy in the crease too. All right, now we're going to do something crazy. So I got tagged in something and it sucks that they put the sticker over what it is, but I got tagged by a friend, subscriber, friend, same thing. I got tagged in this and they said, I thought of you the second I saw this. It's affordable. I grabbed it. I want to try it out. Um, I don't, I don't even know what company this is from. I really don't. I don't know. But what it is, is it's a cut crease applicator. It has a little brown puffy puff. And then it has this, like this. And you're supposed to put concealer on one side or the other. Go like this. And it's supposed to give you a complete cut crease. So let's try it out. I'm going to put concealer. I have my She Glam concealer here. And I'm going to put it just like that. And then I'm going to come over here.
Well, I can't say it didn't work because that's exactly where I put the cut crease. And then I'm going to take one of my cut crease brushes <laughs> and finish it. And then you can just wipe that off because it's just a rubber. And then you do the other side. So I'm going to get the other side all gooped up with some concealer. Just like this. Do the other side. Oops, I think I made a mistake with this one. Ooh, I did. I made a little bit of a mistake with that one. That was my bad. But I can fix it. My neighbors are deciding to pound on something next door. So this should be interesting. They've been trying to fix their house. Kind of like we've been trying to fix ours. The weekends are perfect for that. So it's hard for me to film. And everybody's trying to fix their house. Alright, my thoughts cool little doodad it's a cool little doodad that's what i think about it i think that if you cannot draw it out like i can this is going to be everything to you and if you have a bigger eyelid than i do this will work perfect so there's nothing wrong with this this is actually really really cool especially if you can't get it down by hand for me i might actually keep using this might actually keep using this i think it is freaking cool <laughs> Now I'm going to take the ColourPop, and the, this is Sparkler, and I'm going to take that right there, and that is going on my eyelid. Yep, you already know where that bad boy's going. <laughs> on my eye. These ColourPop quads are a completely different formula, eyeshadow-wise, than anything else that I have tried from them. And I'll also say it's my favorite quality. Because it is good, creamy, easy to use, pigmented. Like, I love it. I love the quads. Alright, now that I have my lid down, I'm going to go back in to this color here in the ZC palette. Just to mix that cut crease and the lid shade together. You hear that knocking? Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go in here and into this chocolatey brown. And I'm going to put that on the outer, the outer V here. It's just so pretty. Then I'm going to go into the heat palette here. And I'm going to go into this one right here for a brow bone highlight. Because we need one of those in our life. And this hopefully is not too dark what are they doing over there oh that's pretty i like that i'm just gonna take all of those mats as usual to put them underneath of my eye and we can keep going thankfully that zc brush kit came with a pencil brush which makes me so happy and it is an amazing pencil brush love how chocolatey that looks oh it looks so good okay what's next now i think oh, i got the coolest things you guys the coolest things look at these oh this is an eyeliner this is a mascara i got this at a set on amazon i'm going to use the eyeliner and just line the top of my lid and be right back have you ever used an eyeliner that you knew was going to be concrete the second you put it on that's this eyeliner it's a felt tip so if you don't like felt tips you're not going to like this one but it dries instantly it's matte and i can feel it lock in like i i may be in love <laughs> now i'm going to go ahead and take my urban decay and this is a eyeliner in double life i love this to death and just put that on my lower waterline any kind of chocolatey brown look needs this eyeliner like needs it and then i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to put on more of a natural lash but they're still false lashes but they're kind of toned down a little bit and these are the aoa 3d foam minks and anastasia they are a little toned down so i'm going to go ahead and throw these bad boys on and be right back 
Okay, now that I have these on and they are drying, they are very, very pretty. I mean, even with being toned down, they still look very pretty. I'm going to go back in with the She Glam Mystic Contour. And should I go in with this? Because I kind of like this. I want to try this out with my contouring powder. So let's see how this will go. And it gets right in there, too. Oh. I need to make a sheen order soon because I'm about to run out of my two favorite shades that are about to hit pan and that makes me a little scared. Now I want to go in with the Amuse. I haven't been able to use this yet. The matte powder blush in this shade. I have another one I use and I love it. But this one looks so freaking pretty. I'm going to go in with one of my new ZCs. I'm a little afraid because cheaper um cheaper powder products tend to be very pigmented <laughs> shit that blush is beautiful oh i love it okay i'm gonna go in with the setting spray the oil control setting spray i'm almost out but you guys saw me haul a new one so i'm not worried oh it's like almost gone lenny now i'm gonna go in with the mascara i mean that alone look at all of that oh, this alone is just beautiful to keep it's got a great wand on it this is the kind of wand that i love absolutely love and it's dark yep beautiful now for highlighter this is something i'm really excited about i got a new kakin highlighter so now i have the bronzer the blush and the highlighter so this is what it looks like and I'm going to go in with my F19 from AOA. And we're going to try this out. Holy shit. And it's almost like blue. Oh, I got to tone that down. I got to tone that down. That is in insane oh my goodness all right and let's do this lip i'm gonna go in with the kvd and this is in d minor one of my best orange ish type of liners and then i'm gonna go in with my new catkin lipstick i've already tried this i love it it's my new favorite oh it's so good It is a matte formula, but look. Look how gorgeous that is. I want every shade they have. The packaging is worth it. The formula is worth it. I want it all. All right, so this is the finished look. Trying out a bunch of new things. Nothing didn't work. It was all pretty freaking amazing. I'm so excited. This and the liner are a go. The Katkin products are a go. The ZZ products are a go. That cool little doodad. Oh my gosh, this. This cool little doodad. Get that sucker. These I'm going to work with a little bit more, but I have not had a problem as of yet. This I want to try again, but I think it might be a little bit too, like, it doesn't cover enough for me. Um, I'm going to try it again, though, and see, because I my complexion I don't really care for, but everything else is gorgeous, so I will leave it all linked down below for you guys. Highly recommend. Check it out. Oh, my God. It's so good for the price. So thank you so much for watching, and I, of course, will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.